Hello, everyone. I'm Dan Walker with Richmond Spiders Athletics. Today, I'm sitting down with Lily Snow of the women's cross country team. Lily, how you doing? Um, I'm doing pretty well. I'm definitely getting into a routine, um, but it's been hard not being at school with my teammates. Right, for sure. Um, what have been kind of some of your biggest adjustments so far moving back home? Um, just figuring out like my routine like i said i've definitely started to get into a routine but at first it was hard just after having to finally establish myself um at richmond like getting up in the morning going to practice d hall all that just kind of figuring out a way to keep on a schedule at home while being productive and getting in my runs but it's been nice because my team has been really good about staying connected and we've been doing team Zoom calls and texting each other all the time. And my coach has been awesome about um, joining in on our Zoom calls. She gives us calls and we talk and just talk about anything. Like it doesn't even have to be running just with everything that's going on right now. She's definitely been super understanding about like maybe some lack of motivation or um, helping us find ways to get motivated. So, yeah been a pretty easy adjustment with that good good that's really really nice to have Lori mm -hmm. in there helping you guys kind of through yeah. these tough times so uh um you just kind of give a little bit of your a of your reaction from when you found out the season was canceled i know you guys had just got done with wrapped up with indoor you had just helped uh the distance medley relay when it's fourth straight a10 championship uh just want to recap how you how you were feeling how some of your teammates were feeling when it happened yeah so we had a10s and then a week later we were back in boston for ECACs, which was kind of the last trip that anyone was able to complete before this all happened. Um, so right after that, I was on spring break and I was in New Jersey with a couple of my really close friends from the team and everything just started happening so fast. Like originally it was just school canceled until I think mid April, like we would have been going back soon. So we were like, okay, like that's unfortunate, but like we might not have our season canceled. We don't really know. And then we found out that the entire season was canceled and just didn't really feel real. Like, I don't think anyone really thought it was real. It seemed like a nightmare. So um, it took a little bit for it to set in. And then once it did, it was really sad, but it was nice being with my friends on spring break when we found out instead of being like at home alone. Um, right. Right. Having that, your support yeah. system there, so that kind of comfort. Some, mm -hmm, and then just like tried to find other things to do to like make us happy at that time, which mm -hmm. is nice. Um, Good. But, I also felt really bad for my teammate, Brooke, who was at NCAA Indoor Championships in New Mexico because they actually got all the way there and then um, got, had the meet get canceled. So it was that was really hard to see after like all the work that she put in for that. Right, right. Um, now that you're back at home and say cross country track and field kind of lends itself to more individualized training to begin mm -hmm. with. but. Uh, what's your current current training schedule look like and what are you doing to continue to stay active? Um, so I'm really focusing on staying healthy and injury free just because we don't have everything that used to be accessible to us, like the training room, the ice baths, the rollers, like all of that. Um, so I'm definitely keeping the mileage a little bit lower than I would if I was at school training right now, but it's really been a great way for me to get out of the house and I've just found even more of a love for running than I had before. And just so grateful that I'm in a sport that allows me to continue um, without having to be with my teammates. Like, obviously I wish I was with my teammates, but team sports are a lot harder to do in this time. Um, <clears throat> and my coach like continues to keep up with me on like my training. And so I think we'll be in good shape going into cross country, but it'll probably like ramp up in intensity later on in the summer. Right, right. Now, uh, being a student athlete, there's a lot of perks that come with that. There's a lot of responsibility. Uh, what does the Richmond student athlete experience mean to you? Um, it means so much to me, like coming in as a freshman, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, but the team, my team specifically has really become like a family to me, like a family away from my actual family. Mm -hmm. And it's just the, the whole student athlete experience is like we're all in this together and all the trainers the coaches they all feel like family and um the experiences that i've had on the team are like things that i'll never forget and it's only been like i guess three quarters of a year so um i can't even imagine everything that all the experiences i'll have um in the years to come so right yeah, right I'm definitely really grateful for it 
Good. Yeah, I know that's something that's always nice to have when you got that kind of built-in support system when you join a, join the school to get a, with the program and you got, yeah. you got all everybody around you with similar interests. And I know you guys form a really tight group there, so that's always really nice. And okay. um, now with this unprecedented time and everything, people are trying to find new ways to continue to stay in shape and everything. Do you got any advice to people who might be just trying running for the first time with being such an experienced runner yourself? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think it's a really good thing that a lot of people are getting out and trying to stay active and running is a great way to stay active. But I would definitely say take it slow and don't go crazy from the beginning because you might find yourself getting injured or um, yeah, so I would say start with lower mileage and work up from there.